What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the top five things that I learned in my fitness journey in my 20s. Plus I'm going to be showing you guys a full day of eating. So stay tuned. So this is meal number one. Now this is a bagel with banana, some natty peanut butter from Kraft, obviously, because this is my favorite natty peanut butter. And obviously, you know, I got to drink my water. I'm aiming for three to four liters of water a day. And so this is my pre-workout meal. I will probably have another meal before I go to the gym, but right now it's 6.50. So keeping the carbs somewhat high with a little bit of peanut butter, not much protein in this meal, but today is my higher carb day. So that is what I'm starting with. So that wraps up meal number one. Probably gonna get in another meal before my workout just because I'd like to get in as much carbs as possible before my workout, but I also like to work out early in the morning because um, I can get it done early in the morning and I don't have to wait till later at night to get it done when I'm tired. I try to get in as much carbs as I can fit in uh, in that time spent in the morning. So this is meal number three, guys. This is my post-workout meal. I got some salmon, some mixed veggies, 300 grams of rice with obviously sriracha and Kiko Men's low sodium sauce. This is one of my favorite things to use on either chicken thighs or my salmon, just cause it tastes really good. And it's low sodium as well. This is meal number three guys, time to dig in. So for those of you guys who don't know, I've been training for nine years and over the past nine years, I've learned so many things and I've made so many rookie mistakes. Um, so I want to share kind of like the five top things that I've learned through the years of training. So tip number one is the only thing that's getting in the way of you reaching your fitness goals is yourself. And what I mean by that is so easy to blame a busy schedule, you know, a busy life, whatever it may be, uh, on so many different factors on why you can't get fit. But the only reason that you're not getting fit is because you lack the willpower to actually hold yourself accountable to your fitness goals, whatever that may be. So, you know, the diet, the training, you know, a lot of people struggle with um, going to the gym five days a week, you know, struggling with their diet, staying consistent with getting in enough protein and they end up, you know, going to McDonald's or going out to, you know, Burger King and eating all these, you know, foods that aren't gonna help benefit them in terms of maybe losing weight, or building muscles. So remember that you are the captain of your ship. You're in charge of, you know, reaching your goals. Nobody else can be blamed except yourself. So once you're able to change your mindset and really take full accountability for your actions, that's when you can achieve, you know, crazy fitness goals. And, you know, I realized a lot of the times, you know, when I was training, I wouldn't really push myself to the next level because I didn't hold myself accountable. Yes, I was great at holding myself accountable in terms of, you know, staying fit. But if I wanted to reach that next, you know, fitness goal um, of like maybe doing a bodybuilding short, something like that, I didn't have that accountability on, you know, you know, um, really pushing myself to that next level. So whatever your level may be, whether it's just going to the gym five days a week, maybe eating clean and getting your diet clean, uh, on a consistent basis, everyone is gonna have their own struggles and their own types of accountability that they need to reach. Tip number two is don't rush the process. And what I mean by that is, you know, when I first started lifting in my first year, I was super gung-ho about, you know, getting gains and, you know, I just wanted to rush the process. You know, I would train maybe three, four hours a day and I would eat as much as I can. I would take weight gainer shakes and I would just bulk as you know as much as I could. And often I would end up getting way too fat and overtrained and I would run into injuries. So you need to really pace yourself in terms of you know building muscle or you know fat loss, whatever that may be, you need to pace yourself. It's great to be consistent, but remember that you need to have a specific plan and a specific structured program if you wanna have sustained results. And remember that fitness is not something that is, you know, a quick fix diet, you know, it's not something that should be uh, lasting for say like one month, two months, and you know, you're, you stop working out. You need to have this as a lifestyle and as a fitness journey. So remember that when you're setting goals, set short-term goals, but also set long-term goals because you know, I found I was able to build the most muscle when I looked at my long-term goals and exactly what I want to achieve. Remember to be patient in the process. Tip number three is to make sure that you're tracking your workouts and tracking your diet. That is super important. And, you know, I've made that mistake of, you know, in my first two years of training, I didn't know how to track my macros, didn't know how to track my diet, wasn't sure exactly what I was eating, how much protein I was getting in, how much fats I was getting in. Um, so when I would cut, I would drastically cut my calories. And when I would bulk, I would 
like go sky high on my calories. So it was not ideal in terms of bulking and in terms of cutting because I was either gaining way too much fat or losing way too much muscle. So like I said, number one thing is to make sure that you're getting that, getting into the habit of tracking your calories through MyFitnessPal, that's a great app to use. Just, you know, having a sense of, you know, how much protein you're getting in, how much fats, how much carbs you're getting in is super important as well as having a structured program. Um, it's super easy to go into the gym and be like, oh, I feel like training chest today. I feel like training arms today. And you end up hitting that every single day because you tend to want to hit the muscle groups that you'd like and you don't end up get improving all your weak body parts. So you want to make sure that you're having a structured program put in place that you can follow. And when you have that, you're able to really target those specific muscle groups. So number four is track your progress. So when I say track your progress, there's so many measurements for tracking your progress. Number one is scaling yourself, weighing yourself every morning. Now you don't have to weigh yourself every morning. If you do it once a week, just to track progress, that's a good start as well. Uh, taking progress pictures, I made the mistake of not taking progress pictures frequently enough. Um, if you are you know, super serious about your fitness goals, I think having a progress picture at least every week is great. Um, you know, Maybe once every two weeks is great as well. But having progress pictures are a great way to measure how much progress you're making in you know, shorter periods of time, say like two weeks, three weeks, or even longer periods of time when you can compare pictures and see what you're improving on, see what you're lacking on and adjust from there. Now, aside from progress pictures and weighing yourself on a weekly basis, you can also take uh, waist measurements as a way to track your progress as well. Just because the weight is not moving, you don't need to just look at weight as one factor of progress. You can look at your strength, you can look at your progress pictures, and you can look at your waist measurements. The last tip I have for you guys is consistency. Now this is you know, the most important thing in my opinion because you can do all the tracking you want, you can do all the you know structured programs you want, you can hit all the specific exercises, but if you're not having consistency, and you're not going to the gym consistently, not doing your diet consistently, you aren't gonna see the progress that you want. So the most important tip I have for you is to stay consistent because I've seen so many people make amazing progress in you know three, four months, and then stop going to the gym for another six months. And they end up losing so much progress. Whereas if you were to stay consistent for one year, two year, three year, four years, five years, up to nine years, you're gonna see so much progress compared to someone who is not consistent at all in the gym because they're constantly catching up because they have to make up for all the progress that they lost. So make sure to stay consistent with your diet, your training, and lastly, have fun with it. So I think the number one thing that helped with my consistency was making my fitness journey to the habit. And how I was able to do that was once I was able to go to the gym every single day or you know six days a week, then I'd work on another habit, such as you know tracking my calories. And then once I got comfortable with that, I work on you know weighing myself every morning. Now all these habits were not easy to build up because you know you're not used to it. It's gonna take almost extra effort. But you know, once you get into the habit of doing that every single day, you don't even have to think about it anymore. It's something that comes very naturally. I was able to actually build up all these habits over time, and that you know helped with my progress. Um, you know, coming from you know one year up to nine years. So those were my five most important tips that I've learned in my fitness journey in my twenties. So hopefully, you guys find some of this helpful. So this is dinner guys. I got around 300 grams of sirloin tip steak, two whole eggs and 200 grams of rice to make this bomb fried rice. So I'm sure you guys are super bored of me eating the same thing over again cuz I'm so used to eating, you know, steak fried rice, but this is one of my favorite meals. I could literally eat this every single day, which I have been doing and I never get bored of it. Steak is honestly my favorite food. Uh, seriously tired of chicken breast, so I always go with steak if I can. And you know, I can't forget the sriracha. So just about to finish the last meal of the day, which is two scoops of protein. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and of course, subscribe.